Hi there, it's Galen, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a really sweet bunny card. I'm showing um, how to add color and accents. Um, I'm using masking, stamping, stenciling, and a little bit of watercolor. I start by using um, a pre-stamped image onto watercolor paper using Unity stamp kit called Hugs and Kisses Bunny. And I'm also using uh, the Unity stencil called All Kinds of Love. And it's really a sweet combination. And uh, so this was all pre-stamped and pre-trimmed with die cuts. I'm also adding a little bit of a faux, a faux um, twine, if you will, using um, dies by uh, Pretty Pink Posh. I have a stencil there by Unity. I'm using Gina K Designs Masking Magic to die cut a little circle to um, showcase that bunny. And also I'm using various dies. This one is by Spellbinders. It's just a circle die that I use for the masking. I also have rectangular dies, uh, A2 size by My Favorite Things. I'm using uh, Distress Oxide ink and um, a foam blending, not a foam, but a, a blending makeup brush. It's great in this set I use only for crafting. It's great for ink blending. And so I die cut that circle out and I peeled away the backing on that uh, circle piece so that I could cover up that bunny area and then I could uh, stencil around that bunny area and you'll see what will be left over is a, um, a circle around the bunny that's uninked. It looks real pretty that way. It's just a fun way to add accents and it's very easy and it's all flat without any added layers. And so I placed the stencil over the, um, the bunny panel and I added Distress Oxide ink blending all around, darker on the outside and lighter towards the center. And I get all the way up to that circle and I um, just do it over and over to make sure that stencil is completely covered with ink so that it shows through on the paper. I use regular painter's tape for masking this. And then you take that away and then you peel away that, um, so I clean the area also. So you peel away that masking area and you and there you go, you see that bunny. Now I'm gonna watercolor that bunny. Um, so if you're watercolor, you wanna make sure you use waterproof ink and you, do, and you stamp on watercolor paper. Otherwise you can use regular cardstock for the same technique and just use your markers of choice. So I use Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers in various colors. Um, I will list them here on the blog, on my, on my blog and here in the video. Um, so I, my technique is just to go ahead and dab a little color where I want and use a brush to blend that out. Sometimes I have dry markers, um, so I use that palette to the right there to just draw on there the color and then add water to the brush and then bring that color over to the bunny. So I just, I like to just do this this part in layers. I go in, I like to go light to dark, but sometimes I go dark to light. Um, so for this one, I went light to dark and then I added more color and blended it out. Um, sometimes I go in and, and blend it with that, that palette color that I lay down on that palette. And so I'm just using multiple layers of browns and tans for most of the bunny and I add pink to the ears and the cheek and to the flowers. And then to finish it off, I just add a shallow a shadow area at the bottom in sort of a tan color. And then I heat set that. And then I add some foam adhesive to the back of that panel um, and peel that away. And that will stick right on top of that yellow, I mean the pink uh, background panel that's already pre die cut and trimmed. So I add a Ranger Multimedia Matte uh, adhesive to that uh, strip of faux twine and then uh, um, the same with the bow and then I trim off any excess over the edge pieces and then on that vellum piece I just use flat double-sided tape to add that exo, exo sentiment and then place everything right there onto the card base with a little adhesive gems just to finish it off. I hope you like this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you take a moment to like and subscribe to my YouTube and to my Facebook. Have a great day.